fucking keep that off. Ambulant oculation. Oculusion. Alright, this is probably fine. Alright. Okay. It's Mass Effect 2. I should probably say something because I'm going to put this on YouTube. Hi, my name is Arcturus. I have played this game at least a hundred times. Uh, it is my favorite of the series, though I am replaying through three and it's much better than I remember. Um, I'm going to try to do a lo low spoiler run through, though sometimes my mouth gets the better of me because I know literally everything about this series, so I might chirp in with fun facts that are low-key spoilers. It'll be fine, trust me. This is not where you're going to watch a playthrough of Mass Effect 1. I don't think Mass Effect 1 is actually a very fun game to play, having just redone the entire thing in about 25 hours. I recommend watching a summary video of it, unless you really want to get in there. So, I'm going to upload this to YouTube afterward, probably, and I'll put timestamps for each mission set, because I think Mass Effect 2 works best when it is viewed as a bunch of anthology vignettes in a sci-fi universe. And it's very fun. Uh, and the only thing about the whole Mass Effect 1 thing is that Mass Effect 2 begins with a motion comic that lets you like do all the choices of Mass Effect 1 and summarizes the game for you. So I find that maximally preferable to doing the actual entirety of Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 1 has like five moments that are truly incredible and fun to play. And the rest is kind of a slog, especially Novaria, especially Pharos, especially uh, oh, where the Zeus Hope or whatever the fuck. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're doing Mass Effect 2, which is better in every single way and might be the greatest game of all time. I don't know. You tell me. We're going to do this. Yep. Yep, yep, I'm gonna keep you on veteran for the moment, and if I start to eat shit, then I will lower it. I shouldn't, though. I am pretty okay at this game. Back when Bioware was good. Oh. Sun looks fucking incredible in this version. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Love the eyes. First piece of context, Cerberus is a human terrorist organization. That is why nobody trusts them. It's fairly important to keep that in mind going forward, because it colors a lot of situations. Engaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. They make you sign every time you get a course. spaceship. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. 
Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! The game has no idea who I romance, so it is a crapshoot who you get, I believe. Shepard! Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. I'm not leaving. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard! Liara, go! Now! Aye, aye. such an incredible way to start a video game. <laughs> Ships are supposed to have giant holes like that. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack! Dreadful. <laughs> it's really dreadful. And then you're dead. 
$60 game. You're fucking over in 10 minutes. Okay. Let's learn about how the fuck we got here and make some very important decisions. Yes, please. Also has some truly incredible art sometimes. <laughs> Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make. The paths you choose. That turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy. Captain Anderson's new ship when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Alenko. Good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core, tough, disciplined, Ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Lieutenant Alenko made the mistake of getting too close. I hit him with some type of energy. I grabbed him and threw him out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. I could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Udina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Why Eden Prime. Why does that one pipe go directly into his crotch? Suggest that the ship was connected mm. to Saren. But even Udina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. Why was he green? That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led us to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally tech expert with a knack for hacking, she procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace that they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat. But they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? 
bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I'd need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. That face. What the Liara, hell? A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species, Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Uh. Caden was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently, she felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission, finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved the queen of a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they were not happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone, with the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender. And Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. <sighs> I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Straight up skipping Saren's Pharos, which is good. <laughs> He'd found a cure for the genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Oh my god, his poor face. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan Serious. weren't real. Serious. But he wouldn't back down. Man. I'm so sorry. Rex is usually beautiful. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. <laughs> he realized this wasn't the right of his people. And that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, you can't be dumber than he looks damn. <laughs> how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split my team into two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign, the Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he'd found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence. But he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign See, was See, Saren looks him. really good. I don't understand. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But it wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend. And a was good she? Soldier. Was she? But I had to choose. And I chose so we go. Caden. We go with the one with the better dialogue, that was the last honestly. Time Saren would slip away from me. 
I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my Garrus over here, intact, fucking broken up Saren over Ashley. Dollars, a long lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Ash's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we put our feelings aside for the sake of the mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died like every species before them, but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space. Slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers, once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space. Bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope that the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Council fleets battled Saren's army outside the Citadel, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. It literally... This decision does not matter in the long run, so you might as well be nice. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left to me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be placed before him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier, tough but fair. But a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. I know it sounds like a weird choice, but also... reasons. I didn't much like Udina, but sometimes you need a pit bull on your side. Someone willing to be the bad guy. For the sake of the greater good. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers I love that were still out and there. the goofy goggles. Fantastic they were fashion. All as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned cleanup duty. Routing out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Ta-da! That's Mass Effect 1, and you didn't even have to play it. Everybody picks uh, Anderson for the counselor, but 
by the time you get to Mass Effect 3, they default to it being Udina for plot reasons. So, has been like, recovered. what the fuck is the point? Let's make this cohesive as possible. That's my, my take. These screens look so beautiful in the Legendary Edition. <laughs> it is so fun to see these loading screens that I've seen for literally years just spruced up and like at 60 FPS and whatever the fuck. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Look at how that, that fucking Cerberus glyph spins. Fantastic. Ooh, I don't know her. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, no. Custom, please. Custom appearance. Like, don't even worry about it. I've got this. There she is. Though I think I wanted to lighten up her. No, I'm gonna keep everything. She looks good. This is my shepherd. I pr play pretty much the same shepherd since. Like, whenever this originally came out, <laughs> I've always played the exact same Shepard. I, I don't know why. Look around. Yes. 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 It's a very good face. Oh, I remember the one adjustment I wanted to make. I knew there was something. Uh, look at me. Look at me. Thank you. I think you deserve darker eyes than last time because it looked kind of weird when your eyes are super, super light. Okay, now I am set and done. This is our shepherd. This is my shepherd. And I love her very much. Oh, I have to hit a different button. Oh, confirm. Boop. And I play an infiltrator. I am a sneaky hacker with a sniper rifle. Someday I'm going to play Vanguard because it's supposed to be the actual most fun, but I... I'm really good at Infiltrator at this point. We are Earthborn. And we are the sole survivor of a terrible, terrible thing that happened. And we're good to go. Easy peasy. She's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. <laughs> Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Always a good sign. Wake up, Commander. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. Oh my god. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Alright. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out! Keep moving. We need to get to the shuttles. Um. Damn. Okay, I have to remember that I don't have incinerate. Can't wait for my muscle memory to completely screw me here. Nice work, 
Shepard. Coast is clear. I have already hit the incendiary button twice in hopes that it would do something. Alas. It's gonna be a recurring theme for me. Because incendiary is maddeningly useful. Oh, that looks bad. Don't waste time. I can't keep the mix distracted for long. Are you distracting them with human bodies? Because that seems rough. is no way to turn off tutorials. Excuse? Excuse? You burned me? Fucking rude. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should shoot them instead of... yeah. That's just the way of it. Hi! Oh, well... Why would you fire a rocket at point-blank range? One half dozen. You're up. I've got him. Got it, Jacob. Hey. You got him, Jacob. Come on. What are you doing here? Thought you were still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah. Sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose. Or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. I am very fond of his face. It's a very good face. I'm having trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low <laughs> on thermal clips. But I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Alright, let me do that, because otherwise he'll keep bothering me. They're falling back. They're mechs. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. 
When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. My crew. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. You're very negative. We're going up against Loki Max. It'll be fine, dude. You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Ugh. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Hmm. All right, let's go. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we... Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson. This is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. All right. Too fast for all the dialogue. Whoopsie daisy. Wow, just a lot of bodies here. Guarding this one laptop. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who she was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter her identity in any way, if she's somehow not the woman she used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. Well, that's comforting, I guess. Shepard! Down here! Hey! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. And click. Don't worry, Thanks, everyone. Shepherd. I grabbed the Metagel from the first aid station on the save wall. My life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. Whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. 
Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. If Miranda's dead, there's nothing we can do. We have to save our own asses right now. The shuttle bay is only a few. We can overload the canisters. Yep. The shuttles. That's it. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Easy peasy. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Yeah, that's... super not great. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. There's the not Alliance more to it. The declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Uh-huh. Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. We call him Tim. I don't care what they did or what you say. I am not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss. But after we've saved our butts, we're almost at the shuttle. Oh, I love that that had metagel in it. Oh no, it had credits. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Cerberus, but, you know. You've been spotted. Sure wish I could have a level up so I can have fucking incinerate. Stop! Good job, guys. Good job. Trying to cue them to come out. Okay. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Don't do that. That's sneaky. Don't sneak up on me. game is incredible. Alright, hacking. It's a fucking memory game of do you remember thing that ha comes up when you hover over these stupid things. Uh, this here, this here. I really should get the mod that skips all of those, because why? Who cares? I'm steal as much money from Cerberus as I can. And we're done here. I think we're done. Let's get the fuck off the station. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. If you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. 
Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You're lovely. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. I have to admit, they did much better with her face in this game. She always had some weird Uncanny Valley shit going on in the original version, but they've really smoothed that over. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted, and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Uh, <laughs> you want the real reason? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. I did it I had a to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. It's not really fair to Ashley. It's not Ashley's fault that she sucks. <laughs> the writing is just not there. I can't throw too much shade. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Okay, that's important, but this is way more important. This, this we need to fix. Okay. Casual outfit is gonna be hoodie. Nope, not done. And we are going to change the fucking material here to look less weird. And then time for some colors. Um, maybe not with some of is that too light what about a gray that'll pop more that is a nice pop I think I like that do we want a pattern I think the patterns do kind of look silly can I make the pattern look good mm hmm kind of hate camo that's not terrible but also, let's just not. I think this is it. I hate losing the stripe, but I'll live. All right, now we look decent. Now we look cool. Let's go and bother Tim for the first time. Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. 
unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one woman, one very specific woman, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. <coughs> you and I are on the same side. We just <coughs> have different methods. Cut to the chase. Sorry. What are the Reapers doing coughing for some reason to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. All right. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them, for now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. All right. Finally, a fucking level up. And I'm not even going to be able to afford the thing I want yet. I want this. Oh, well. See, if I just imported a save, it would just give me the points I want. Ah, anyway, I do still really like that they got Sheen for this, because you get a decent actor and they can act decently. It's pretty fucking good. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? <laughs> Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. It'd be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. I wish 
stare at Jacob's face. Like, it's a great face. New weapons. Fucking fine. Oh, interesting. Oh, it does give me an assault rifle. I've grown very fond of assault rifles in ME3. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. I mean, not yet, anyway. Strange. Security systems were disabled at these colonies. Hitting the fucking incinerate button, and I can't do that yet. Someday, I'll be able to incinerate things. It'll be a very good day. Mech shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. How many times am I gonna hit the incinerate button and have it do nothing? We hate the dog. Oh, the dog is coming closer. Okay. The dogs are scary. Dogs are easily the scariest enemy. <gasps> Quarians! Stop right there! Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. <laughs> I love her. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Excellent. Talizor is great. I wonder if it is useful to... We've just met Quarian, so... No, I want primary entries because they are actually... Narrated. Quarians. Driven from their home system by the Geth nearly three centuries ago, 
Most quarians now live aboard the migrant fleet, a flotilla of 50,000 vessels ranging in size from passenger shuttles to mobile space stations. Home to 17 million quarians, the flotilla understandably has scarce resources. Because of this, each quarian must go on a rite of passage known as the pilgrimage when they come of age. They leave the fleet and only return once they have found something of value they can bring back to their people. Other species tend to look down on the quarians for creating the geth and for the negative impact their fleet has when it enters a system. This has led to many myths and rumors about the quarians, including the belief that underneath their clothes and breathing masks, they are actually cybernetic creatures, a combination of organic and synthetic parts. Again, but there, that is what quarians are. Maybe as we meet we each race, I'll play each of their entries. Of Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Did I get points yet to fucking. No. Oh, I should probably. I'm not gonna use these two, so I'm just going to auto update them. Let the game put the points wherever it wants. I am not gonna be caught out by this shit again. Incoming! No explosion? Okay. I'll take it. Okay, there we go. And switch back to rifle. Excuse me, guys. I wanna just kinda nudge out of my way. I hate this fight. Use overload on him. Target and explode. One left. <clears throat> this. Come on, we can still catch them. Why can't you pull these guys, Jacob? Why are you useless? Oh, wait, he can? No, it just flew. It's like, that would be very funny if the game had lied to me all these years and Jacob can actually pull a drone. And Miranda. There we go. Yeah, Shepard. We are inside the loading docks. Vitor reprogrammed the heavy mech. It's tearing Fraza's squad apart. They did want to get to Vitor first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Okay, but, you know, first I have to pick up stuff. Miranda, you know this. Sure thing. Up there. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Um, actually... Minor choices. Miranda, get over there, please. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't use cover, unfortunately. It's a heavy mech. Fucking yikes. 
That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Job shooting the pole, buddy. Shoot. All right, now we're down to that. Now we want to probably change to no to this. Oh, Jacob, you're so screwed. I'm invisible. You can't see me. I'm invisible. Hey, Tali. How you doing? Seems real bad over there. Ding. About to get hot. Alright, cool. Still pretty easy, not gonna lie. I thought multiple times about turning this up to hardcore, but then if I completely eat shit, I'll look bad, and I can't do that. At some point, I will stop doing these, but early on, having a little bit of money is useful. This looks interesting. Pick up that, pick up that. Hey, Talizora. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? Hmm. No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. I thought the collectors kept to themselves. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. 
but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Of course. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. I wish you could come with me, Tally. That would be helpful. That would be useful. Alas. They always make you fucking wait to get Tally. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. I wonder more, why! You can find the collectors it. are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. <laughs> Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. That's the such Consul a bullshit the answer. I want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army, or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. <laughs> Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. 
My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. He's just that good. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love the Normandy. Gotta love that, that sleek Turian design, huh? Applause, applause. All right. We got our pilot. We got our ship. Also, the design is so much better in the second game than the first. Y'all don't even know. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. That man has no hips. Just nothing, just sits straight down. 
Like, how the fuck does his belt stay on? These are questions that I've had for years. I know about this ship. Alright. Let's go and talk to people. This game is a lot of talking to people. Can I get the... oh, yeah. The <laughs> long fucking thing of various codex entries. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. That's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. Yeah, you are such a downer. <laughs> this might re remain still the one and only good performance that Seth Green's ever done. <laughs> That's mean, but it is true. I don't usually talk to Jacob and Miranda, but for the sake of completion. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. A word? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. <laughs> That's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Great face. Like, do you stare at his face? I stare at his face. It's a great face. It's a shame I'm not going to take him on many missions. Because there are, unfortunately, much cooler people. Welcome aboard, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. They completely changed her hair. It's very... Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Nope. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Alright. Let's keep it nice and brief with her. Crew deck. Look at these doors that are mostly locked off. Very sad. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. Hmm. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. 
on a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. She's great. I love her. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. <laughs> Real nice, Mr. Gardner. Everybody sassy. Commander, what can I do for you? Um... What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Hmm. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well. And the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. <coughs> if I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? It's, uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the Special Tasks Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. Those groups are part of the actual governments of those people? Hmm, hmm, hmm. But those organizations are regulated yes, by governments. Yes, thank you. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structures similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment, and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Miranda. <laughs> oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Okay. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. 
for a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Hmm. Anyway, you can soften up Shepard so that they trust you a little more. <laughs> it's just, it's such a fucking humble brag. Except it's not even humble. It's just a brag. You know? Yeah. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, that weasel Udina backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Alright. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. So much for the private sector. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Hmm. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you she would. I'm very good at what I do. Okay. Let's get the fuck off the ship and go collect some people. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Mmm, I don't care yet, so don't even worry about it. So, the game starts you off with, frankly, the two most boring characters. So, we are going to pick up a couple people to get started. First, god, there's a lot. There are many people. First, we're going to pick up the Master Thief. Because I like her a lot. She's fantastic. For the curious, we're going to do Master Thief, then Veteran, then probably Archangel, then Professor. That is the order of operations that I tend to do. Because it gets you a little bit extra dialogue and makes things a little bit easier. I figure it's probably very spooky to be part of the Alliance and this fucking ship comes in the dock. Well... Alright, finally, do some fucking incinerate. That's the most important thing. Uh, um, okay. And we're done. And we can say farewell to Miranda. Miranda will never be in the party again. Commander Shepard, enter the password. 
password and receive a free gift. Hmm. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. This is a keeper. These are Hanar. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Mm-hmm. Those are Turians. Those are Solarians. Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? All right. <laughs> Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant, illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. All right. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. <laughs> See you on the ship, Shepard. Alright. That's one down. Let's go and get the other, and then we can get Archangel. And then we'll come back to the Citadel at some point and talk to the many, many, many people who are there, including the Krogan, who just want to know if there are fish in the ponds on the Presidium. They are my favorite. Fly out of there. We're going to go back to Omega. A lot of cool people to meet there.
Okay. Kasumi is extremely useful. Our Shadow Strike is kind of incredible once you get it up to some pretty higher levels. I think otherwise we're still fine. I don't think I want to mess with this yet. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay. I'll just do that to get it to leave me alone. Alright, let's go and recruit our next party member, who is kind of an asshole. Who Shut it. many times I have completely skipped using, but my god, is he good in a fight. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. I assume you've been briefed? Why is that I've the same? I've done my homework. <laughs> Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. Aww. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Alright. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. <laughs> Literally, the least pleasant introduction to any fucking character in this game by a mile. Uh, and yet, we're gonna pick him up. We're gonna do Kasumi and Zaid. Both of you come with me. Alright. Now we can get to looking around and meeting some cool people. I do love Omega. Come on, let me in. 
Arya's expecting me. Oh. Annoyed that she were expecting you to get inside. You've let ten people in while I've been standing here. Uncaring. I do love the Elcor. This is a game that really, really likes its nightclubs. That's close enough. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're going to make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Excellent. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help them. Sounds like I don't have much time to waste. You've got all the time in the world. Archangel? Not so much. Excellent. Oh, now that we've met, like, Asari, let us quickly go to primary. Asari are a council race. The Asari were the first species to discover the citadel. When the Salarians arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the council. An all-female race, the Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Asari can live for over a thousand years, passing through three stages of life. In the maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and experience. When the matron stage begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors.
Aria is admittedly much less of a, a centrist than the other Asari. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight them. You could say that. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. He had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a porch out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Aww. I don't get to go kill myself in a stupid attempt at being a merc. How very sad. When I was younger, I used to play this game as straight up Paragon, and I never did anything interesting. And then slowly over time, I realized there's no reason to do that, because the game doesn't take away Paragon points if you do a couple Renegade actions. They accumulate both over time, so you can build kind of a more interesting character with a bit of an edge. So, highly recommend that. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. All right. I would love more concussion shots, and I'll do one of each of these. A ton of a wiggle room for customization yet, so that's fine. Everyone's good. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Katka. He'll tell you when to go in. All right. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Katka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Wow, he sounds like a really cool badass. Getting in will be easy. Getting out should be fun. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. 
I've been a couple Batarians at this point, so let's do Batarians. Um, stink non-council. In the early 2160s, the Alliance began aggressive colonization of worlds in the Skillian Verge, much to the dismay of the Batarians, who had been developing the region for several decades. In 2171, the Batarians petitioned the Council to declare the Verge a zone of Batarian interest. The Council refused, however, declaring unsettled worlds in the region open to human colonization. In protest, the Batarians closed their Citadel Embassy and severed official diplomatic relations with the Council, effectively becoming a rogue state. They instigated a proxy war in the Verge by funneling money and weapons to criminal organizations, urging them to strike at human colonies. Hostilities peaked with the Skillian Blitz of 2176, an attack on the human capital of Elysium by Batarian-funded pirates and slavers. In 2178, the Alliance retaliated with a crushing assault on the moon of Torfin, long used as a staging base by Batarian-backed criminals. In the aftermath, the Batarians retreated into their own systems and are now rarely seen in Citadel space. It's a very limited understanding of Batarians. Batarians are interestingly crunchy to understand. Shepard, I scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. See that little blue dot up there above my head? That's Archangel. first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Do you need something? You leave the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction. Nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. That's fair. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. <laughs> okay. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. Hmm. I'll get going. Good idea. Salarians care a lot about family. Tarek spoke to Garm. He and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've taken, possibility exists that we won't have the men need to continue on to the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organizations would be ready to move on Aria without the assistance of the other two. So, something worth noting. Um, Salarians. I adore Salarians. The second species to join the Citadel, the Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. 
The Salarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan rebellion several centuries later. Salarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. This manifests as an aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. <laughs> Fucking hacked. I'm in. Etc. Etc. And do a bypass. Alright. This will make things a little bit easier going forward. I should slow them down. Nice. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell up. Friend or foe. Here's the blood pack. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh? We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men, and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. <laughs> and he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. I do literally just enjoy listening to Krogan speak. There's a lot of races with... Ooh. Well... That sure sucks for you, buddy. There's a lot of races with really good vocals, but the Krogan and the Turians are easily the best. Uh, ba -ba. Wait, is that not the right... No, it's not. What the fuck am I doing? And... Alright, now we're done. Oh my god, I messed up once! I'm a fake gamer! <laughs> Uh. All right, I don't want to go there yet. I'm gonna hack everything. Anything in these missions is permanently lost if you don't grab it the first time. So that's this. Gun running records, power cells. All right, I have one more group to talk to. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. What do you want, freelancer? Why you gotta take that attitude with me? I don't want excuses! Don't have gonna get that gunship working! Or he'll be next over that bridge! And somebody get me those damn blueprints! Now! Get this freelancer out of here! I don't have time for this shit! I just have a few questions about the operation. 
Get this scum out of my face! <laughs> Tarek, what's eating your ass? Zaid. Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot that you know each other. I take it you two are acquainted? We've crossed paths a few times. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? You're talking to him. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you solved my problem for me. Anything's possible. Wow. Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? I cannot express how that completely changed the tenor of this conversation. <laughs> What's Tarek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks, and you sons are on your own? That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. <laughs> we better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. It just sounds so cool and so capable. Hmm. Watch out. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'm looking for Sergeant Kathka. You and me both, lady. He's over there working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. Hmm, that's fair. I'll be right back. Good luck. I wonder... Oh, no, he's down. Hold on. Sneaky fuck, come here. Stand up. see him pretty closely. Oh, stopped you kind of like right here. Can't have any fucking spoilers, I guess. Alright. Keep moving. <laughs> I fucking jumped. Kafka? Sergeant. Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us the signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. So our plan space. is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? Try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. 
Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Target is in sight. Where a go? Check. Bravo team. Go, go, go! I always stare at these guys in their ugly ass armor. Like... It's like... What is this painted with? Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. <laughs> That one's gonna sting. He'll be fine. Possibly. Probably not. Doesn't look good for Archangel. We've got nothing better to do. Let's go. Their armor looks like matte plastic. It's really hideous. Come on. We'll give these guys a surprise of our own. You see that? I'm going in. I get starting with that. Nice. She's with Archangel. <laughs> oh, after complaining about it so damn much. Yeah, I fucked that up. Uh, map power to the correct button. Map this power to crack button. There we go. Alright. Now I can actually use things properly. Okay. Looks like we're good. Archangel. Shepard. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Garrus! What are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work. Especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. Small detail for people who've never seen the Legendary Edition. They added so much fucking locomotion to the Turian faces. Look around like the brow plates and stuff. It's very cool. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. <laughs> you nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. <laughs> uh. Well, we got here. It's very I don't good. Think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. Just waiting doesn't seem like a good option. Got any other suggestions? This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It 
It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we got. One less to worry about! Overloading! I wish I could tell my team to kind of head down there. Yeah, you guys go down there. Y'all have fun. What a coincidence. Oh, someone got through. Damn it. Eclipse marks have made it into the base. Well, God willing, my actual team will take care of it. I've only got two more shots. Uh, this will put him down! I think I see you. Where are you? Hmm. Ah, fucking hold that. Here, she got any more ammo? I like his little kill box. <laughs> Look at that. It's not enough that you have a fucking concrete wall. He has a little, like, oh, and he has a fucking place to put his knee down because he's been doing this for over a day. I don't think I've ever noticed that detail. That's fantastic. Oh, that was a bad shot. Controller, controller, controller. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hold on. Okay. My controller is completely dead. What the fuck happened? No! Why? Hang on. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh. Okay. That was weird. Alright. Let's hope that doesn't fucking happen again. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Scoped and dropped! Eclipse marks. Rear stairs. Alright, alright, alright. I'll get it. Where are they at? Where are they at? Garrus, don't die. Garrus, you seem to be dying. I fucking love when Incinerary decides to randomly not home in on anything. It's my favorite. There we go. Gotcha. And... Alright. Any stragglers? Combat music, so there are stragglers. Oh, all right, we got them all. Despite a controller malfunction. Want something done properly? All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. should take care of itself. Sorry, Garrison, I'm gonna rob you blind a little bit. Never saw me coming! I love this bit. This is fun. This sure sucks for you guys! Still going. This will put him down. Just don't attack the mechs, guys. Leave the mech alone. Let it do its work. Get down! 
Oh, they took out quite a bit of them, though. That's pretty good. <laughs> hey, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, that was a full shot. All right. Still more coming. Oh my god, Kasumi! Did I do that? Hell yes. Alright, I think we're good. I'm gonna need some ammo, though. Looks like that's all of them. Come find me before they regroup. Okay. Just a sec. All clear here. Just wanna make sure. Four bodies there. Yeah, and I'm looking around a bit. Just give me a sec. Hmm. He's very impatient. And more bodies over here. Only one bed. Did everyone have to, like, play poker every night to decide who gets to have the bed? Oh wait, there's more I'm over here. here. I'm full of shit. Wait, so Garrus automatically has the full bed? <laughs> hey, buddy. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Look at how his nose moves. <laughs> yeah, that sounded bad. Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? I'm going to keep Zaid, I think. Kasumi, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. But I was looking forward to crawling around in a dark basement. <laughs> Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Yeah. This is, without exaggeration, literally the hardest mission in the entire game. <laughs> Specifically, the right-hand door. I think, like, last week was the first time I beat it on veteran mode, because <laughs> it's so fucking difficult. Get to the console and close that shutter before they can get through. I'm coming, I'm going. <sighs> Limited run speed. Commencing shutdown. Don't even think about it. Oh. 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 Alright, cool. There's two more shutters. Get them closed fast. Alright, this one fucking sucks. I've yet to make a single save. Let's make a save. All right. Get, down. <laughs> get the dog, get the dog, get the dog. Don't you fucking don't do that. Okay. Move up. Ah, oh, fuck. Zaid, Zaid. Zaid, your cooldowns. Zaid, your cooldowns. Thank you. Oh no, not a, another bad puppy. <laughs> the bad puppy's still coming. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, that feel when your gun doesn't automatically reload. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Okay. This is fine. Alright. 
One, two. That didn't work. That didn't do the thing it's supposed to do. Oh, please go away. Okay. Oh, you're not dead. No, you have a little bit of health yet. Oh, shit. Can I punch you to death? Yes, I can. Garrus, shut the fuck up. I'm under a lot of pressure right now, Garrus. Oh, fuck. Please, why did you get to fucking duck under a homing missile? Okay, alright, okay, alright, okay. Alright, okay. How do you see me, you prick? Uh... Excellent. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. One, zero. Phew, alright. Hate that shit. Did it, guys! I fucking did it. <laughs> the only thing harder than that is the last battle of the Omega DLC. Oh, what the? Okay. Like I got nudged. Oh. <laughs> Things are jumping up here, Chef. Don't screw around with those shutters too long. Oof. Bit close range, isn't it? Hold on. Can I? Nope. Didn't want to swing around the corner. That's fine. Um. This is still fine. I'm just going to. Very satisfying to do. Hey, you. Uh, Saeed, Saeed. No shield. Thank you. Got him. Uh, all right, boom, Diada. We are doing okay. This door is way easier than the other. Watch that not home. It okay, it didn't home, but it still worked. That's all that matters. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. You got it. Shields have failed. Damn it. Uh, I don't have grenades in this game, do I? No, I don't. Okay. Kasumi? And that's not gonna work, actually. Hold on. Zaid. And then Kasumi. Enemy charging! Get him. Shit. Ah, puppy, puppy, puppy. Kill the puppy, kill the puppy. Kill the puppy. Visible. You can't see me. How long does my invisibility last? Alright. Nope. I didn't want to go behind that. Run up here. All right. All right. Don't even worry about it, buddy. Oh shit. Okay. Sloppy, but it works. Garrus. Gonna be okay, buddy. Now All you right. see me. Nice. All right, armor's down. Zaid is down there doing shit. All right, fine. I can't do anything at the moment. I've only got two shots. And I can punch him to death. No, wait, he's dead. It's fine. We did it. Fantastic. Anyone else? Any stragglers? I think that was very impressive. Hey, Garrus. Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. 
You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. I... I cannot express how much I wish Bioware would give me the game of the two years that Garrus spent on Omega. I would play the shit out of that game. Oh my god. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. tarek has got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. And... Get your head down! Damn it! Thought I took that thing out already! I fixed it, but not completely. Oh shit. They're offloading troops. Watch your back, Shepard. How come that just doesn't want to work sometimes? Wham, 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 wham. Uh, Alright, can you do that to her now? Thank you. Fucking bunk bed there. All right, that got her. This will bring him down. Very concussive shot. We good. We good. We good. They're repelling down the sidewall, ground floor. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Loki. Got him. Is that it? No. There's more. Okay. Sue me. Go and kill that one. And... Oh, I should have popped that shield first. That's fine. It still does decent damage. What are you doing? What are you doing up there? What are you doing? Little Bingo! Alright. Press they were still alive. Alright. Everything's fine and we won! in real life. You got shot in the face too, and you survived. Shut up. Fucking Zaid here with the helpful comments. <laughs> that went pretty good. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The docs corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but. Shepard. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. 
Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are crooked. <laughs> yeah, shoo, Jacob. Let the adults talk. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. That's my man. All right. I think that is a good run of missions. I'm curious to how much time that took. That is not bad. Two and a half hours for the entire prologue, picking up two people and picking up Garrus. I think that's good. I'm gonna go talk to Joker real quick. And next set of missions will probably be Morden, Grunt, Jack. That's probably the order I'm going to do them in. Because Grunt very much enjoys seeing uh, Jack. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite with that pole up his ass. <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. <laughs> I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. There's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Should I talk to Garrus? I don't know if he has any dialogue. Oh, I should just for funsies talk to uh, Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Because I usually go entire games without speaking to her, but she has like little dialogue bits for everyone. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? <laughs> Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. How long can Commander, I go? Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. How can I? How long can I go without looking at any of my fucking messages? The game between me and Yeoman Kelly Chambers begins. All right, that was a good run of the first couple of missions. So again, next we will do recruiting the professor, which is Morden Solus. Oh, hey, we met a Turian. Let's listen to the thing about Turians, which are another council race. The sec Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. It's actually even more complicated than that, if I may. Turians are extremely interesting. They are all part of the hierarchy. They have compulsory military and civil service when they hit. 15 and they live in a meritocracy which means that like if you do well at your job you will be promoted it's that's that's your reward for doing well is you get more work and that's just kind of how Turians are one of the interesting things about the whole promotion system is that you have to be promoted by a person who's a higher rank than you and if you fail at 
the job that they gave you, it is the person who promoted you who gets in trouble because it is understood that they are the ones who selected the wrong person for the job and it is their fault, not yours. So there's interesting things around multiple Turians that you meet, including Garrus. One of the reasons Garrus is so broken up about the loss of his team is because he is the one who picked the team, he is the leader, and as we find out later, someone sold out the team. And that is obviously, according to Turian culture, Garrus's fault. And that's why it haunts him so much. And it's fucking great. And I love the Turians. They're really good. I love Turians. I love Salarians. I shake my fist at the Asari all the time. That's how it be. So... That is all for this run. I might play more tonight or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. If you want to know for sure, then either follow the Tumblr or just follow the Twitch thing. I guess that gives you updates. I don't actually use Twitch except to follow Waypoint, so I don't use it very much. But we, for now, are done. Thank you for hanging out. I hope I was vaguely impressive. <laughs>